Hey, what's up, B-Hackers? So, something that I know holds a lot of people back from writing dance music is they don't feel they know how to play an instrument, they don't know anything about music theory, and they think, what's the point in me trying to write my own music? Well, in this video, I'm gonna to demonstrate to you how easy it can be to write chords, even if you don't know how to play an instrument and you know nothing about music theory. Interested? Let's do it. <laughs> Okay guys, so before I even get into this video, I just wanted to say that if at any point you're watching this and you're like, whoa, this is really cool, I love to start making my own music, but I just need more information on how to start, I'm currently doing some free live training at edmcoaching.com. There's a link underneath this video. You can go and watch it, ask me questions because it's all live. Cool, let's get straight into it. So the way you can start writing amazing chord sequences without having to know how to play the piano or any music theory is a plugin called Scalar, which is a really cheap plugin, something like 30 pound. And all you need to do is load it into Ableton and it kind of works in several ways. So the first thing is you can go to scales at the top here and select any scale you want. For example, a C major scale. And as soon as you select a scale, Underneath, it will give you all the chords in that, in that key. And what's even better is you can bind the keys together and then you can actually play these chords with your keyboard. And you can play it however you want on your keyboard, which means all of a sudden, instead of having to learn the piano for 10 years and knowing every single key and scale, you can just load this on and play any chords you want just using the keys on your keyboard. Now, it doesn't stop there. This doesn't just give you every chord in a sequence, it can give you inspiration as well. So if we come back up to the top here and select songs, you'll see this huge list of different songs here um, where you can select any one of these and it'll give you loads of chords that would typically be used in this genre. So for example, if you went to Future Bass House here, you can go and select one here and it'll give you some cool chords. Um, and again, let's just go back, let's go and get some house chords. Um, and you know, even if you wanted to go and get jazzy chords. Really cool stuff. And again, all you gotta do is bind the chords up here and you can play them however you want. Now, it doesn't just stop with different types of music, it also has different artists. You can come in here and there's different artists from Carl Cox to tons of people, MJ Cole, loads of people in here. But it's all about just being inspired. This is the thing with music. Once you get a couple of chords, you're like, well, this is cool. You can, you're off on a tangent then. You can go and write a whole song just with three or four chords you've discovered. Um, so for example, if you go into Joseph Greer here and go to Luminarium, you've got these cool chords. Really cool. So now this takes me to the third section of Scalar where you can kind of begin to build up your own chord sequence. So if I just clear that down there, I can now take some chords I like the sound of and drop them in down here. So let's drop those in. Okay, that'll do, so dun, 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 dun. Cool, so we've now got a chord sequence that we think is quite cool. Now, you can obviously go and save this if you wanted to, and you can call it like fill one or whatever you want, and it will be saved up in this section here, the users section, so fill and fill one. You can save any kind of chord sequence you like. The next cool thing you can do is you could go and just drag that MIDI straight onto a lane that has some, um, that has a synth on it. So let's have a listen to this now. Now obviously that's really quick and it doesn't really have any rhythm to it. So what you might want to do is use your keyboard to kind of play a bit of a rhythm. So let's just remove that there and let's go back to Scalar up here and let's unsolo that lane. Now, one last thing I want to show you before I go ahead and I play out a sequence is if at any point you were like, 
I don't really like that chord there. I'd love that chord to be something different. All you've got to do is come up to chord variations here and then go to um, whatever note you're on. So it'll have all the different chords at the top here. And as you can see, there's F sharp. So you can go into F sharp. And then instead of F sharp, you can find whatever version you want. And if you find one you prefer, you just drag that down instead. And it goes for any single one of these chords. Okay, so we've got our chords loaded down here. I've act activated the uh, binding mode, so I can now play those chords just with my keyboard here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go and record in the sequence. So I'm gonna have a bit of a practice first. Let's have a quick practice. Cool, a really cool sequence. And all I'm literally doing is hitting from A through to J in a bit of a rhythm. So let's now record that in. Cool, so we've got that. Let's just bring it back over here to this section here. And we've got this sequence. It's slightly offbeat, but the amazing thing is because this is electronic music, we can just select all and quantize it, which will put it perfectly to B. Cool, that's good enough. So now if we wanted to just go and record, now one thing you'll notice is it's just playing the notes. It's not actually playing the chords. So if I was to drag this into a lane with a synthesizer on it, let's just go back and make sure we've got all of that. If we were to drag this into a lane with a synthesizer, it would just play one note and it wouldn't sound right at all. Have a listen. Doesn't sound right. So what we want to do now is have it play out the actual chords. So we go to a lane that has a synthesizer in it. What you do is you go and select 26 scalar. So we've got 26 scalar here. And from the pre, post and scalar, you want to go to, down to scalar here. Now we're going to arm this lane and we're going to press record up here. Let's have a listen. Cool, so we've now got this amazing chord sequence that's come out. So the next thing you want, might want to add in is a bit of a pad. So in, rather than the stabby effects, you may just want the long drawn out notes. So that's not a problem. Let's just go and do the exact same thing. We're going to just play the exact notes, except in a long kind of more drawn out legato way. So let's give this a go. So we've got those notes there. Let's go and grab that. And again, let's quantize them all. Let's bring that along. Perfect. And we just go and get a lane now that has more kind of pads. Same thing again. Let's record it in. Okay, cool. So let's just have a quick listen to this then. So we're going to take that off and listen to what we've actually got. So guys, as you can see, in a couple of seconds, there's some really interesting chords there that I could go and create a whole song out if I wanted to. And I barely did anything. A couple of settings, played a bit of a rhythm on my, literally on my computer keyboard, and we've got some really cool sounds coming out of it. So just to wrap up this tutorial, I just wanted to jump back onto Scalar to show you some other pretty cool features of it. Another cool thing you can do is when you select uh, any of the uh, songs or artists up here, it will also immediately put Scalar into the key of the chords that you were just playing, which is E Mixolydian. So you may, might think now, well, I'd like to put a lead over the top, but I don't know what keys and I don't know what notes I need to be hitting to play it in key. So the beauty of this is, is if you take it off bind, you've got it on E Mixolydian up here, and then you can go to Scale Lock which now means that whatever keys you play here will automatically be in the key of E Mixolydian. 
So if I now wanted to, I could go and riff a bit of a melody over the top of those chords and any note I hit will be perfectly in key because it's locked it perfectly to key. So again, you don't need to know anything about music theory to have a bit of a play around on top of the chords we just put in as well. Okay guys, so there you go. Hopefully that tutorial will show you how easy it can be to start putting some amazing chord progressions together, even if you've got no idea how to play the piano. And also guys, I've got a theory that people who can't play the piano might end up actually coming out with more interesting chord sequences that a pianist who's been playing the piano for years might not come out with. You see, people who've been playing the piano for years will know which chords work well together and will often not even really think about putting unusual chords into their sequence. Whereas guys like me and you, who haven't been playing the piano for years, will be going purely on our ears, what we think sounds good. There's been loads of times where I've used plugins like this, and a friend of mine who's a very good pianist would say, I would never have thought about putting those two chords together. And I'm not thinking about it at all, I'm just going on what sounds good. So don't think that it's a negative if you don't know how to play the piano. It can actually be a positive. It can actually mean you start coming out with more interesting stuff than people who've been playing the piano for years. That's one way of looking at it. So there we go, really cool tutorial. Hope you liked it. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, let me know what you thought about it. As I said at the beginning of the video, go and check out EDM Coaching if you wanna learn more stuff like this. And finally, if you like videos like this and you wanna see more like them, make sure you hit this button here to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell notification so you get told about it when I release new videos. Hit that button down there if you wanna go and check out EDM Coaching. And finally, hit this button below if you wanna go and find out how you could write your first EDM track. I'll see you guys in next week's video. Ciao. Boof.